IBM Rational Doors and IBM Rational Quality Manager. Requirement-driven testing with a new OSLC integration. This demo focuses on the integration between IBM Rational Doors and IBM Rational Quality Manager. This is a new integration introduced in Rational Doors version 9.4. This integration is implemented via the Open Services for Lifecycle Collaboration OSNC standard and replaces the earlier integration. Integration between Rational Doors and Rational Quality Manager improves the requirements test traceability of projects and is a key part of the quality assurance process. It enables requirements and quality teams to collaborate in context to ensure that all requirements are tested. The delivery team eventually benefits from this effort by working with the validated requirements and tests written against them to validate system behavior and verify compliance as early as possible in the life cycle of the project. During this demonstration, you will learn how the integration provides immediate benefits such as ensuring that all requirements are tested, ensuring that all tests are based on requirements, monitoring requirement changes by identifying and clearing suspicions, assessing the impact of change, assessing the project via statement of quality and traceability reports. In the development of requirement-driven testing, there are some definite collaboration points between the teams, such as test planning, where the approved requirements are passed along to the test team to work from and the test status where we learn which test passed and which failed. We will focus on these areas during our demo. Let's meet the team. Suzanne is a requirements analyst and she is primarily a Rational Doors user. She sets the qualification criteria as to the requirements when they are ready to be tested and how. She also participates in a release review board. Suzanne will determine what requirements are ready to be tested. From her environment, she will need answers to questions such as, are requirements tested? What is the impact of change from requirements to test? What are the test results? Test Manager Mike is primarily a rational quality manager user interested in test management and execution. The test manager participates in the requirements review establishes traceability from test artifacts to requirements, and investigates test failure. If necessary, he may create a requirements change request. Tony the tester is also a rational quality manager user, interested in the details of the test and execution. The tester writes the test against the requirements and executes the tests. He needs to know if a requirement has changed because that may impact his work. Time for the demo. Starting Rational Doors, I log in as Suzanne, the Requirements Analyst. Our project is Automated Water Meter. We are focusing on the handheld software requirements. The module currently has some traceability, but no traceability to tests. Suzanne created a view that she uses to identify how each requirement will be tested. Here she can set how each requirement should be tested. If the value is not set, then that requirement is not ready for testing. She also created another view that she will use to communicate with the test team as to which requirements are ready to be tested. Notice that this view currently consists of only three requirements. At this point, Suzanne can associate the view to a test plan herself via Rational Doors Web Access or inform Mike, the test manager, that the view is ready. We could make a work item for Mike, but that is beyond the scope of the demo. Mike, the test manager, logs into Rational Quality Manager. He sees a dashboard and he browses to his test plan. Notice that the test plans can be associated with zero or more requirement collections. The view from Rational Doors is referred to as a requirement collection in RQM. Mike selects a test plan with no views associated. This is also seen in the Requirements Collection link section. 
Clicking on the Add New Links icon will allow Mike to link to Rational Doors views. First, he has to log in and authenticate that he has the correct access rights. The information is presented just like Rational Doors web access. Mike selects the Test This View. Notice that he has the option to rename the summary field to something that makes sense to him. He saves the test plan and a link is created between the plan and the view. For this to happen, Mike must have access to the module. If someone else has the module open, a warning will be displayed informing Mike. It is good to note that the same view may be associated with multiple test plans and one test plan may contain multiple views. So far, Mike associated a view to a test plan, but did not associate the requirements to test artifacts such as test cases or test steps. The Reconcile Requirements Collection button will check to see if any new requirements exist in the view and if any of the already linked requirements have changed. The wizard first lists all requirements without test coverage. Mike has the option to select one or more and automatically create test case shells for each of them with specific values. And a link to and from the requirement. The wizard also checks if the requirements have been modified and Mike has the option to mark them as suspect. Since this is a new test effort, he clears those suspicions. Save the test plan and look at the test cases. One of the benefits of using OSLC is this rich hover. Mike can get a lot of details about the test cases and requirements in context or he can choose to navigate to the source. At this point, Mike logs off and informs Tony the tester that he has some work waiting for him. Tony logs in to Rational Quality Manager. He goes to the test plan and explores the test cases. He is the owner of several test cases. He takes some time to look over the test case details and the linked requirements. Again, he needs to authenticate to get the requirement information. From the rich hover, he notices the verification method for that requirement. And he starts working on a test case. Tony can set some parameters such as priority of the test case. He decides to reuse an existing test script as part of this test case. To do this, he clicks on add test script and selects one of the available test scripts. Tony saves the test case and explores the script. He notices that a test step is currently linked to another requirement. Tony will link additional requirements to this test step. By selecting link to any requirements, Tony can navigate to the Rational Doors data and link to any requirement. In this case, Tony decides to stick to a requirement that is in the shared view. He selects the view, opens it, sees the view as presented in Doors, and has the option to select any requirement and link to it. Test steps can also be linked to the specific requirements that the parent test case is linked to. We accomplish this by selecting the requirement and using drag and drop. Saving the test script creates the necessary links. Tony keeps working on the test cases. Running them produces mixed results, however, as we can see from the test plan. 
At the meantime, Suzanne is checking on the status of the test cases. She runs a traceability report, which creates a column with a test plan and linked test cases. She creates a filter to display only the requirements that have validated by links. She uses the rich hover to get details about the tests, such as state of the test and execution status. She switches to the test this view without saving changes to the current view. Remember that the test this view is linked to the test plan. Suzanne runs a test report which produces a number of columns relevant to the tests and their execution. Notice the results of the tests. Reviewing the requirements, she notices a compound requirement and she decides to split the requirement in two. Notice, however, that there is a link test case on the original requirement. This change may impact it. Splitting the requirement creates a second requirement that we need to test. When the test manager reconciles a test plan with a requirement collection, he will see this new requirement and he will have the option to tag the changed requirement as suspect. Suzanne saves the changes to the objects and exits. Mike logs into RQM and opens the test plan. From the Requirements Collection Links section, he reconciles the requirement collections. The wizard picks up the new requirement, which we will link to, and create a test case for it. Mike spends some time investigating it locally here with the Rich Hover. And then creates the test case. Assigns to Tony. In the next step, he sees three suspects. We assume that Mike investigated the history of each and is aware of what changed. He marks one requirement as suspect and clears the other two. In the test case section, we can see the new test case and the link to the requirement, as well as the suspicion. This concludes our demo. Thanks for watching.